Thank you. Watermelon sugar. Thank you. Watermelon sugar. Thank you. Thank you. I'm in love with another. Who is this man? He is. Kamado Tanjiro da. I've heard that if you destroy your art on TikTok, then it gets on the For You page. So, I just wanted to say, if you if you ever see me do that, um, you can just cancel me because at that point, I will be so. Hey artists, show me your most treasured piece of artwork in your collection. I'll go first. So this is an original frame drawing from the Flintstones that I got in an animation convention. So cool. I mean, you can see the animator's timing chart and their pegs and everything. So cool. Which one is the real drawing? This quick procreate tip will blow your mind. Have too many reference images in your file? Just merge them onto one layer and drag them into the reference window found in Canvas Actions. All of your reference images can now be found here so you can close out of your other cluttered image layers. Slap follow for more tips like this. Three things I bet you didn't know about coloring your line art in Procreate. Number one, swipe with two fingers on any layer to be able to paint directly on your line work. Number two, change your line drawing layer to a reference layer to be able to drop any colors in any layer underneath. Number three, I can't believe this one exists, it's so easy. Just hit the selection tool and make sure the automatic selection tool is selected. Select color fill and tap anywhere. How to paint grass and other small details, the fast way using color jitter in Procreate. Tap once on your favorite brush to open the brush studio. Then select color dynamics, increase the lightness and darkness to add some color variants. You'll notice that every stroke makes a different value. Perfect for drawing things like grass or dirt. You can always adjust these settings as you go. Smack that plus button for more tutorials. Procreate tricks that will save you time so you can go back to watching Netflix part 2. Number 1. Need to move multiple layers to a different canvas? Just select them all and drag them into the gallery, click on your new file, and drop them.
Number 2. Want to make a graphic drop shadow? Just duplicate and rasterize your text. Motion blur it, select the very edge using automatic selection and drop a color in a new layer. Number 3. Create a color scheme from any image by going to the plus button in palettes and select new from photos. Simple Procreate tips that will save you lots and lots and lots of time. Number 1. Press and hold on the check mark on any layer to isolate it. Number 2. You can combine any two brushes to make duo brushes by selecting them and hitting combine. Just make sure to duplicate them first. Number 3. Use the clone tool to replicate things like leaves and grass. You can use any brush you'd like for it too. Spank that plus button for more helpful Procreate tips and tricks. Quick Procreate painting tips that you're going to want to remember. Number 1. Tap and hold on the color swatch to quickly toggle back and forth between your previous and current colors. Number 2. Miss the old recolor tool? It's still available in the quick menus, see my last tutorial for how to set that up. Number 3. Adding a bloom adjustment to your lighting layer helps give you that juicy glow look. Save and follow for more life-saving Procreate tutorials. How to create beautiful custom brushes in Procreate Part 1 You're going to want to save these. Start by creating a canvas to test your brush on. 10 by 10 inches and 300 dpi or larger is a good place to start. Add a new folder and brush by tapping the plus buttons at the top of the brush list. There are two main components of any brush. The brush shape and the brush grain. You can import your own, but if you're just starting out I'd recommend looking through the Procreate Source Library found inside of Edit, Import, Source Library. Once you've imported your grain and shape, experiment with different settings until you get something you like. Here are a few things to remember, pause the video here. Follow for part 2. Procreate tips that will save you so much time, this one will blow your mind. There's this thing called quick menu. It can be found under gesture controls in preferences. There's multiple ways to toggle it, but I like setting mine to finger touch. Once it's open click on the center button to add as many custom menus as you'd like. You can rename your menus by tapping on the name once. Customize your menu by holding down the no action buttons. You'll find nearly every action in Procreate here I've even set my favorite brush as an action to reach it faster. Smack the plus button for more. If you're a digital artist and you use Procreate, don't scroll past this. Let me show you how to color your work in 5 minutes or less. First off, you're going to want to make sure that your line drawing is set to reference and that you create a new layer for color underneath. When you drop a color in your image, you'll notice that it says continue filling with recolor. Make sure you click on that. The plus sign shows you what area your color will fill. Move it around and when you want to change colors, just go up to the color menu and pick a new one. The flood setting at the bottom will allow you to control how much or how little you want to fill a color in an area. So if your line drawing isn't perfect, just decrease the flood setting down lower. As you can see, this method is a lot quicker and more effective than other techniques for coloring your work. Thanks for watching guys, make sure to comment, like, and follow for more content like this. Did you guys know that you can rotoscope and procreate? 
you don't know what rotoscoping means, it's basically a technique used by animators to trace over live action film. It can be a very time extensive technique due to the animators having to paint over every single frame. That's why movies like Loving Vincent, which is a great movie by the way, took almost six years to animate. To do this in Procreate, you're first going to want to save your video to files. Once you've done that, open Procreate and hit Import, then select your file. Procreate will then take your file and split it into each individual frame as a layer. I'd recommend not doing every single layer because that would take forever. Draw over the most important or key frames and hide the rest of the layers. You can have tons of fun with this, animating skate clips or even making your own feature film. Duet me with your results, I want to see what you guys make. If I could turn back the clock and make sure the light defeated the dark, I'd spend every hour of every day keeping you safe. I'd climb every How to make a pattern brush in Create selection tool secrets that you're going to want to save to favorites. Number one, you can change how much of the selection mask you see by going to actions. Preferences, selection mask visibility. Number two, tap and hold with one finger while making a circle selection to make it a perfect circle. Number three, automatic selection allows you to slide to adjust how much you'd like to select. Number 4. Adjust the feathering of a selection to make a soft edge perfect for gradients.
Number 5. Tap and hold the selection tool to return to your last selection. Number 6. Hit save and load in the selection menu to return to that selection at any time. Smack that plus button for more Procreate tips. Procreate tips that will save you time so you can go back to watching Netflix. Number 1. When creating a canvas for digital viewing, select the P3 color profile for the most saturated colors possible. Number 2. Use the pencil tool in Hue a Saturation to be able to paint your color adjustments anywhere you'd like. Number 3. Use the reference window to see your photo next to your work. You can even color select from it. Number 4. Adjust the pressure curves to get better pressure sensitivity with your brushes. Number 5. Erase with the same brush you are painting with by tapping and holding on the eraser brush.